Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Welcome back to another episode of the Pedal Porn Hub. <laughs> On today's episode, we're gonna be looking at one of my personal all-time favorite guitar pedals, which is the Texas Ranger by the legendary Cesar Diaz. Now Cesar Diaz was Steve Ray Vaughan's guitar tech, especially for the back end of his career. And Cesar was a gem when it came to understanding what Stevie was trying to get out from his head and incorporated into his gear. One of my favorite aspects of these pedals is the interaction with your guitar's volume knob. So when you're playing through this pedal, when you roll back your guitar's volume knob, you get some real nice glassy uh, cleanup tones and they can be associated with tunes like Tim Pan Alley and Dirty Pool by Steve Ray Vaughan. There's, there's so many others, but um, yeah, there's uh, a real nice, unique sound like uh, this is a treble booster at heart and a lot of treble boosters do clean up as well which again is associated with a first phase style circuit but there's something about the way these Caesar Diaz pedals clean up it's just such a unique way and I absolutely love it you know it's just um, again this is why we actually used this as the reference for uh, the Texan twang which pedal porn released not so long ago and um, yeah it's you know a complete homage to Caesar Diaz and just you know trying to trying to continue that that legacy in in a small way um, but yeah this uh, pedal has three different settings the low mid and high my personal favorite is the high setting because even when you roll up the guitar's volume knob it gives you those really accentuated glassy tones and just really cuts through the mix like no other pedal I've ever played to be honest the mid setting is pure juicy fat tone uh, I don't want to say tube screamery because it's, it's really not a tube screamer circuit or sound but you can get those almost like couldn't stand the weather uh, solo tones with the mid setting it's just really fat and uh, juicy oh, I love it <laughs> and um, low is a bit more growly a bit more dirt you can almost get into first territory in the right context with your amp and um, all three settings are very, very us usable. As with any treble booster style circuit, you really want to push it into an amp on at least the verge of breakup. So um, with, you can get, you know, it still sort of works cleaner, but it can sound a bit more brittle and fizzy and it just doesn't have the same impact. So I really recommend pushing it into um, a hotter amp context if you can. Or, or of course you can stack it with some overdrive and that will compensate in the same way. Yeah, these really are just all round magical units. And again, big players have adopted them over the years, most notably probably Philip Sace. Uh, I, th I feel like I talk about him in every video, so uh, yeah, sorry, sorry about that, but big, big fan. <laughs> of course, because Caesar has sadly passed away, these pedals are no longer being made. So um, that means that with the increasing demand for them, the prices are just getting crazy on Reverb and eBay, and it's just, it's it's hard to obtain one now. It really is, um, you know, <laughs> I wish I'd bought a few more um, a little while back because, um, yeah, it's it's just almost impossible to find find one. Let alone if you do find one, they get snapped up, at, you know, pretty fast, even at the crazy prices. So it's, um, yeah, if you can see one, try and grab it. But uh, yeah, good luck <laughs> for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe, tell one of your pedal nerd friends to watch if you think they're interested and uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Catch you soon and take care.